Hello guys and welcome to another Mellow Motors video. Today we are racing the creme de la crop. Perhaps the greatest racing car ever made. The Ferrari P4 is the most elegant, most prestigious automobile to ever hit the track. This car actually came after years of development from Ferrari's side on how to put a car on behind the driver. This was the car to beat when Ford, G when Ford joined Le Mans and the World uh, Sports Car Championship. And indeed they did beat the P4, but the P4 came back at them and won a 1-2-3 at Daytona the next year. But enough history, enough chit chat guys, buckle up and let's go racing. Of course, because this car is the ultimate car ever, we need to beat the AI at the most difficult level as, as well. So let's go racing here against unbeatable AI with the Ferrari P4. Uh, all the time I was racing with this car, I had a smile on from ear to ear on my face. Uh, honestly, this is a Forza, Forza at its peak, just this race car is in these conditions. Anyway, going down the hill here, trying to find some space, uh, weaving about the track, trying to find some space, and we actually do find a position here. Now to the first braking zone. Um, the only fault with this car is that its brakes were are from the 60s, so it doesn't brake too well, especially considering the wet surface we have uh, here. I tried to find some space down the inside here and actually gain almost three positions but I didn't want to shove the Ford GT onto the wall there. He actually gets into a scramble with the Corvette and we take two more positions with the Ferrari P4. I have to tell you I've driven the Ford GT and the Porsche 917 which were direct rivals to the Ferrari P4 and none of them feel as planted and as gracious in high speed cornering as the Ferrari P4. And it has good high speed here, as you can see, we're catching up to fourth place down into this very heavy braking zone. And you can tell you really do need to brake quite early with these cars uh, um, because their brakes are from the 60s. This car is completely stock. Uh, I dared not to meddle with the, <laughs> with, uh, the sacred, Fer sacred Ferrari before here. Um, and so we're racing it bone stock. We're up behind here the Ferrari Testarossa, uh, a predecessor of the Ferrari before, and we're gonna overtake them uh, because my top speed is much greater. This car does have a very beautifully sounding V12, and we com as we completely overcook this uh, this braking zone here and lose two further positions. Uh, but yeah, that corner is a uh, rather difficult to get right, especially with these cars in these kind of conditions. Putting it down the inside of the Daytona Coupe there, a little bit, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of a Forza, of the Forza line there, uh, finding some space on the inside. And over here, just chucking the car into the corner. I can just do that with so much confidence, maybe uh, on exit there, a little bit, a little bit too wide, but uh, no love lost there. We're in fifth position here on our first attempt with the Ferrari P4 and we are at 80% of the racetrack so uh, it's not going to be enough to get any more positions but it's 5th place for Mellow Motors. That first attempt was pretty good actually, uh, just building trust on the car and I actually got pretty confident here <laughs> tossing it about to catch another position uh, and it's as I said it's just the, the best first attempt where you get confidence in the car. Perhaps a bit too much confidence here uh, on the brakes there as I go wind over that wind right hander down the hill. Trying to find a position here on the inside perhaps? Yes we do. But again overcooking the turn having to drift here and losing a little bit of control and actually missing the checkpoint there. So second attempt perhaps too confident on the car. <laughs> so we'll try again here. Uh, in fourth place up to third right up to the back of this uh, convertible Porsche. I don't think this is a car that um, Porsche had fielded at the time that the Ferrari P4 had uh, been launched. 
but whatever, it's Forza. Um, but we do overtake him uh, on the high speeds there, onto the brakes here, trying to maximize my speed on the apex, but actually go wide, which is going to allow the Porsche back through uh, with unbeatable AI against un unbeatable AI. You really cannot be caught sleeping or else they will, they will take your position. But we are coming on to a high speed sector and not only is it long, it is uphill. So I suspect my Ferrari V12 Supremacy will beat the Boxster Porsche and I, I just breeze past him, wave by, <laughs> wave, I wave to him as I go by. Oh, got them, got a hiccup there. Anyway, braking early here, trying to understand this turn, but I go wide again. Don't hit the wall this time, uh, but I do lose the position. So uh, not too great a line there, clearly. On this tiny, tight and twisty sector here, trying to keep it steady, trying to maximize the acceleration we get from the Ferrari P4. And I gotta say, th this car is just a pleasure to drive. I've said it a thousand times, but on the high speeds, on the low speeds, perhaps it could have a little bit more braking performance as I just run into the wall there and cost, uh, that would probably cost like a, a billion dollars, right? To fix that, <laughs> if that happened in real life. And as we go down the hill here, up ahead, we see the leader battling with second place. I think the leader is actually a Ferrari P4, of course, and I am actually going to catch up so much I'm gonna have to actually lift off and go down the inside to take first place on it with a double overtake with 90% of the 10% uh, of the track left to go. Uh, there's only this further braking zone here, trying to maximize it. Uh, a little bit of a tap on the wall there and losing traction on the wet surface. I look behind and it's actually Mellow Motors in first place. Wouldn't you know it? Though that race was all well and good, I feel like I just got it handed to me. Uh, I just got lucky there to take those couple of positions. And I don't want to win like that. I want to win uh, in a hard fought manner, um, to the line, ideally. I don't want it handed to me, man. I want to I wanna beat the unbeatable AI. Not the easily beatable because they you know, got it, uh, into a scrap on the high speed sectors. But anyway, down the inside of the Tessa Rosa here, already up into fourth place, taking this uh, long right hander here rather well there. You can tell I'm already more accustomed to the Ferrari now that I've got some miles under my belt. Letting her dance, it's just, this car is just such a pleasure to drive. I've said, I know I've said it a thousand times, but it's just so intuitive uh, how she grips and how the weight gets uh, tossed about. On the right hand side there, the Porsche had some kind of issue and we tossed it on the inside of this car that should not be in this terrain. And just listen to this. Four Ferrari cylinders going at high speed, head to, head to head. It's just, it's just. I was, I was always crying with uh, how beautiful this scene was. Racing against another Ferrari before, and the and the V12 just sounds exquisite on braking, on on idle, on you know up to the rev limiter. It's just, uh, this car is everything a car should be. As we go up the hill here, on the draft of our teammate, break well before the the kink here, to try to, ah, uh, now this is how you take this turn. <laughs> That's how you do it. Um, though I do manage to keep it clean there, I don't think I'm able to maximize it as my teammate. It gains a bit of ground on me, but on the Swissies, I do like this right double right-hander. Quite a bit. You lift off a little bit on the second apex, but you keep your foot down after it. And I'm actually able to overtake my teammate on the exit here. Take it a wider line uh, because I thought the, my teammate was going to toss it down the inside, but he actually does not. And it's Mellow Motors in first place. Now we go down this tricky sector here, down the hill. And, you know, if you do not know this car, you're gonna wanna lift off. But I'm gonna try to lift off only at the corner after this one, uh, up to 230, 240 kilometers per hour, lifting off here to find a bit of grip, maximizing 
uh, what track we have and I'm just being able to push this car and it's just a joy to do so. Breaking then onto the last corner here, maximizing the width of the track again and keeping it pretty tight on the apex to go through the files straight. You know what it is. It's Mellow Motors on the Ferrari P4 to take first place. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly did. And if you did, do leave a like down below. If you want to put uh, some fuel in my YouTube channel tank, do subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, again, it was just a joy to make this video. If you guys want me to make more content on the Ferrari before, I will. And if you don't, I probably still will. But anyways, guys, you should buckle up for the next one.